Hello friends welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is all about how to install Microsoft Windows Server 2019 and to know what are the new features in Windows Server 2019. Let's start. Whenever we plan to install Windows Server, we should make sure the booting device like DVD drive, pen drive or USB drive is set to first boot priority in BIOS. We have already inserted the Windows Server DVD in the DVD-ROM and as soon as I will press the key the setup will start. I am pressing here key on the keyboard to start the setup. Server setup is starting. Some files are getting copied. Now it's asking us to input some information like which language you want, what time and currency format you want and which type of keyboard input you want. We will keep the default setting here and will continue set up by pressing next button. You can see here, it's asking us a confirmation to install. I will press install now button and proceed the setup process. You can see here, it's asking which operating system type you want. Here we're getting four options. One thing should be noted here is all four installation is available only in 64-bit architecture. You will not get 32-bit architecture in this Windows Server 2019. You can see here, first option is Windows Server 2019 Standard Evaluation, which means that Windows Server 2019 will get installed in this but it will not have GUI mode I. E graphical mode will not be there. If you want graphical interface or any program, you will need to install it through prompt base interface that is shell prompt or command prompt. Now here in second option we have Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation version with desktop experience which means this will have graphical interface. The graphical interface will get installed with the operating system installation. In third option we get Windows Server 2019 data center evaluation version but as we see in previous this will also install operating system without graphical interface and you will not get desktop experience. In fourth option we get Windows Server 2019 data center version with desktop experience which means that we will get Windows with graphical interface. I hope till here you understood. Now we will choose Windows Server 2019 with desktop experience for this training program. And we'll click next button to proceed. Here we have terms and condition. You can read and select this I accept the license terms and click next button. Now here we will get two options. First is upgrade and second is custom. If you want to upgrade the existing supporting windows to this Windows Server Edition you can select Upgrade option. And the second choice says that this will do a fresh installation on your computer drive. We will select second option as we want to do fresh installation on this computer. Now here this is asking us to select the drive or partition to install the Windows Server. Here your computer hard drive will be displayed installed on your computer. I have created a small drive partition of 32 gigabytes required for this training, but in your case it will show your actual drive size. If you want to create a separate partition for this operating system you can go here and create a separate partition. For example if I want to create a 30 GB partition I will need click new and mention here the size. See now one information has popped which says that to work Windows features an additional partition might be created for system files. So I will press OK button here and proceed ahead. 
Now you can see as it was saying additional partition will be created and additional partition has been created which is of 549 megabytes. And the balance space is showing below. So that's fine. We will click next button and proceed ahead. Now here the installation of Windows has started. Here the setup will copy setup files, features, updates. This will take some time. We will let it continue and sit relax until this is complete all five stages. After all necessary file copy, now the server is restarting. Here we will not press any key. Now it's asking us to set the administrative password. We should always set a complex password so that no one can easily guess the password.
Now I will press Ctrl Alt and Delete button to enter and to log in to the system. Now here it's asking to put the server password. I will enter here the password and proceed ahead. The system is logged in and desktop screen can be seen here. Something related to network is asking. We will press no here currently and proceed ahead. You can see here the server manager is starting. Whenever server starts, this server manager starts. You can see the server manager is started. I will close this now as I don't need to do here anything now. Let us see what is new in Windows Server 2019. In Windows Server 2019 some new features has been added like Windows Admin Center Windows Admin Center is a locally deployed browser based app for managing servers, clusters, hyper-converged infrastructure and Windows 10 PCs. Hybrid Cloud Server Core App Compatibility Feature the server core app compatibility feature on demand significantly improves the app compatibility of the Windows Server Core installation option by including a subset of binaries and components from Windows Server with the desktop experience. Security Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection ATP ATP's deep platform senses and response actions expose memory and kernel level attacks and respond by suppressing malicious files and terminating malicious processes. Storage Storage migration service is a new technology that makes it easier to migrate servers to a newer version of Windows Server. It provides a graphical tool that inventories data on servers, transfers the data and configuration to newer servers, and then optionally moves the identities of the old servers to the new servers so that apps and users don't have to change anything. And few more improvements has been made in this new release of Windows Server 2019. So that was brief about Windows Server 2019 new features. This installation training video end here. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and if you have any doubt please comment below. And do not forget to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.